Hello, good morning and namaste to our beloved students of Biswati. It's me, Vishnu Aryal, social studies teacher of Biswati. Students, today I'm here with the third episode of social studies, unit one, we and our society. Just before this lesson, we have already learned about SRM and SRD. Now, I am going to teach about need of human resource development in Nepal. Students, why do we need human resource? It is very clear that for the overall development of our nation, we need main power different types of main power it means from on skill to skill main power for different work now the nation's development nation's progress is totally depend on the availability of human resource in the nation in the previous Lesson also, I have already told and, and informed to you that about the European country, most of the European countries are in very advanced situation in all economic, social, industrial sector because they have a lot of human power with the help of human power they are able to develop their nation for our country also we need human resource for what number one to demand to demand and recruit main power on the basis of human resource plan we need human resource just to know what is the situation of main power? If we have a little, we have to recruit. And we have to demand for that we need. We need human resource. If we have no sufficient human resource, then work cannot be done. So, number two, to fulfill the lack of main power at the time of need and manage the additional employees. If we have no main power, suppose no main power during the time of work, at the time we need additional main power. That can be known if we know, if we have a human resource in stock one. That's why we need human resource. Number next is that to increase the productivity. It is very clean that to increase the productivity of organization, I mean to say a company, it may be goods production industries or service production industry. For that, to increase productivity, we need main power. Then only, then only we can go ahead. To diversify the work and estimate need of employees. To diversify, we need various types of main power for different work. I mean to say, for different work, we need different main power. We have to estimate whether this these all types of main powers are needed or not. If we have over main power, then con organization or these companies' expenditure become very high. Having high, having very high in um, main power, expenditure increase, and the country that uh, um, organization or that company can go down and 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 in lost condition. So. Next one, to identify the availability of and possibilities of export skilled worker, 
it is very clear that whatever main power we have now suppose we have means in a in our company whether these main powers are qualified or not export or not whether they can give their service in time or not just to know that we need human resource if we have human resource human resource then only we can go ahead now and to increase the, or decrease the number of workers it is very last one is very clean that if we have if we have main power sufficient main power then no need to decrease if we have no main power then we have to increase in such condition we need human resource if you have no human resource then we need to run the industry we don't need to run the company at the time we need laborers from where we get labor if we have in stock one that's why we need human resources i mean to say that in a, this human resources are needed for either any organization or company service company or production company we need human resource development if we are able to develop human resource in time then only production can be done let's run after that one after the if after the need of human resources why do we need human resource the question goes here it means what if we have human resource then only because human resource are very important what are the importance of human resource जनशक्ति किन आवश्यकता पर्छ त जनशक्तिको महत्व के छ त भन्ने कुरा यहाँ छ ह्युमन सोर्स इट हेल्प्स इन इफेक्टिव यूज अफ मेन पावर इफ वी हेभ ह्युमन सोर्स देन दिस मेन पावर क्यान बी यूज भेरी इफेक्टिवली फर द गुड प्रोडक्शन इट फेसिलिटेट्स the source for the main power for present futures and determine incentive plan for the main power it means main powers are very important because main powers are needed for today tomorrow side by side what types of main power in order to develop main powers main powers hopes main power mentality good mentality attitudes towards the organization company has to give special focus over there here is i have made here underline here incentive plan means organization need to give certain any certain additional benefit to workers to develop their capacity hami sanga bhayeka organization ma bhayeka employees har ko manobal lai uchcha rakhna ko lagi yadi organization le yadi employer le tya ko त्यहाँको चाहिँ मेन पर्सनले त्यहाँको साउले त्यहाँको वनरले ती वर्कर्सहरूलाई उनीहरूको मनोबल वृद्धिको लागि हौसला दिन सक्नुभयो भने बल्ल इन्डस्ट्रिज राम्रोसँग चल्छ त्यसको लागि पनि त मेन पावर चाहियो स्किल ह्युमन रिसोर्सेस चाहियो इन्सेन्टिभ कसलाई दिने भन्दाखेरि जसले राम्रो काम गर्न सक्छ इट इज युजफुल टु मोटिभेट the main powers and the organization to achieve the goal it is useful ekdamai useful to motivate the main power skill main power can motivate others also for what to achieve the goal what is the goal of industry to produce to produce good productions or good main powers for that we need there is a great importance of human resource 
it is beneficial for it is beneficial for the development of leadership human source if there is a proper human source in a company that a person can develop his or her leadership capacity supervision capacity and effective communication having effective communication in the organization in the company company can go ahead i mean to say if there is a development of company definitely there is a development of employees also that's why it it produces higher productivity from the organization it means human resource can produce very good productivity this productivity is essential for the nation's building if we are able to produce goods or services whatever we need for our nation if we are able to do so no need to depend upon others we become self reliant we became independent in this situation also if we are in independent situation no need to depend upon others then there we have we haven't any problem we can go ahead and and next one organization and utilize the time human resource can utilize time at what time what to do without misusing the time workers can do their duty ultimately it's it can develop workers workers uh, personality it can go directly benefit to the workers side by side organization also and capital mobilization here in nepal we have lot of capital i mean to say money but here is no place where to invest if we have good human resources with the help of this human we can mobilize our hidden money in nepal we have lot of money this money is are not mobilized this mo the if we are able to mobilize or use that money in production sector then definitely it will be beneficial to the workers in just in that owners side by side to whole nation also and minimize the loss i mean to say if if we have good human source then there is no doubt that there is no any problem that there will be there will be loss of company company loss ma jane kunai avasthai rahdaina kinabhane jab kunai organization ma sab pai workers ole ramro sanga kaam garnu huncha aphno samjhera kaam garnu huncha mane dekhi kaam garnu huncha mane dekhi kaam garne vatavaran to owner le dinu huncha bhane to avastha ma to organization ghata ma jane chance hudaina ghata ma teti khera jancha jati khera owner ra worker ko bich ma coordination zero huncha jab zero huncha tesle tesle वर्करला बेफाइदा ओनर उसको तो सर्वस्व डूब तेस कारण हमीसंग ह्यूमन रिशोर्स होूमन रिशोर्स ने मत्र हे तेस को तो कंपनी हे इट डेवलप द इन रिनेसनशिप एमंग द वर्कर्स ह्यूमन रिशोर्स गुड ह्यूमन रिशोर्स गुड मेन पावर स्किल मेन पावर खान can always develop their inter interrelationship among the workers who are working inside their company stakeholders related person and organization means owner uh, we give positive result in quality works yes if all the workers become positive if all workers develop their positive attitudes towards the organization by saying that it's mine it is our then surely and certainly that uh, that in the, that industries can go ahead and can produce very quality works either either goods or services 
and and inter and internal management also if all the workers all the human powers are very positive and they can develop such environment in such environment anybody can be adjusted very easily in this way human human resource is development is very essential it is very important in the absence of human resource development if we are not able to make people from on skill to skill then country cannot be go ahead only there is only one way to develop nation that is human if we are able to develop that on skill to skill then surely and certainly country can go ahead student about these lessons i have already posted this uh, these uh, chapters homeworks on your related facebook groups and um, if you have any problem about these topics today, don't forget to communicate with me. And next day, I will come with the next episode. Till that time, thank you very much.